Dumb Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now let's talk cruiserweight and heavyweight, right? We're going to talk about a hero in boxing at, at the particular time. That'll be Alexander Ozek, the only guy that's undisputed as we speak. He's undisputed cruiserweight champion, and he did it in a way that is probably unprecedented in boxing. Probably history of what this guy has done. Undisputed, the only person we saw do that lately would be your boy Terrence Crawford. He did it 140 pounds. He did it also awesomely. But shout out to Julius Ndungo for wanting to have an undisputed fight after beating up uh, Ricky Burns and your boy um, from uh, Russia. I forget his name right now. Going over there, handling that business, getting the IBF, going over there and getting that WBA, I think it was, for Ricky Burns, and then wanting to put it on the line against Terrence Crawford in Nebraska. That was awesome from Julius Ndungo. I'm not forgetting that. Julius Ndungo is what did that, what helped Terrence Crawford become undisputed. Awesome guys. Now, speaking of awesome guys, we're going back to Alexander Ozek, who won the Cruiserweight Undisputed Championship, never being at home. But before he went into the tournament, he just beat up your boy who's raising hell in the heavyweight division right now. His name will come to me in a minute. But other than that, he gets in the tournament, goes to Berlin, beat Marco Huck, goes to uh, Latvia, beat Brightis, goes to uh, Russia, beat Moret Gossel. After winning the tournament, being undisputed, says, well, let me just go over here and beat up your boy, uh, Tony Bellio, and put him in retirement in England. Guys, all these fighters we talk about, all these fights we talk about, everybody's always worrying about if they're going to be at home. Right, so people can glorify and cheer their jabs. And when they throw flurries and don't even land, but the people are cheering anyway, and then we get these bogus decisions. If you have a boxer that's fighting right now in the present time, never fighting at home and winning, you better find out who that is. One of them is Alexander Ozek. So to what Alexander Ozek says recently, and this sounds like something he would say, right? He's like, now I'm moving up to heavyweight. You know what would be good? A WBSS tournament in the heavyweight division, right? <laughs> a tournament where you ain't got no easy fights, no more promoters are in the way, and the, and the sanctioning bodies. The baddest dude comes out of there undisputed. Now, when, I, when somebody uh, mentioned this about a year ago, a year and a half ago, I was like, there's people that won't even get in the tournament. And I was talking about the middleweight tournament, too. Like, because I knew that Canelo wouldn't get no middleweight tournament. Golovkin wouldn't get no middleweight tournament. Tournament. I don't think they would even get in the middleweight tournament. And if somebody did, it would be Canelo before Golovkin. He, Golovkin, would not. Let me just, I, we can, can we agree on that? Now, in the heavyweight division, there's some people now that probably wouldn't even get in the tournament. We ain't going to leave names out of this. But there's probably people that probably wouldn't get into a tournament to find out, right, who the baddest is. I would like to see them try to make a tournament just to see who would, it, it would say, okay, I'm inviting myself and who wouldn't. I think this is an awesome idea. Yeah, the heavyweight division could do it too. They can do it too, right? And you know what they play with the division should do? They should be like, I tell y'all what, we're going to have an undisputed fight between the two uh, to make an undisputed champion. And those two guys that are fighting for that undisputed, they don't get in it. Everybody else gets in it. The winner of the tournament fights for the, the winner of that undisputed fight. Or like if they had a, a, a rematch, those two. Those two can fight and everybody else should get in the tournament. I think that'd be a good idea because you, you'll find out who the baddest is, and that guy will go fight for the um, for the undisputed championship. It's a good idea what Alexander Ozek is talking about, uh, and it sounds like him. This is the guy keep your eye on. Yeah, he's coming up from Cruiserweight. He's not going to be as big as some of these guys, but so what, right? So what? You know, at least he's going well, willing to get in there and ain't I am hollering about he got to be at home all the time, like all these guys that we see and hear so far. All of them, right? Want to fight at home? Not all of them, but most of them. Right? This guy doesn't. Doesn't care. And wants a tournament like that. Let's see if this gains any footage. I think this will this idea will be sweeped under the rug quicker than anything else. Because ain't nobody trying to get no damn tournament. We can't we want we can be spoiled and, and hide behind promoters and sanctioning bodies and be mandatory. Like Billy and White. I'ma say that name, you know. Trying to be the mandatory for WBC, and they asked you to fight Ortiz or Brazil, and you didn't. Then the IBF asked him to, uh, you know, you're the mandatory to go fight Rev Hulev in Bulgaria, but you didn't. And now sitting there, oh, I'm going to fight, but I'm going to fight uh, Chizura, right? Not rated, dude. And then after that, I'm going to say, hey, where's my shot? 
right? And then Deontay Wilder tells him, just fight Ortiz and you get me, regardless of anybody saying, ignores that too. But now I'm the, I'm the WBC number one. Ah, oh, man, really. You've had enough opportunities. And even Bob Merriman has said later, lately that dealing white ship has sailed, basically. And that's what he's talking about. He's talking about, man, how many opportunities do you want? You, it's not your rules. When someone mandates you that sanctioning body, you ignore their manda mandate, then I would ignore you after that. Right? If, dealing, if, if Deontay Wilder's like, forget what mandate, just fight this guy, and you get a shot at me, you ignore that too, then the hell with you. If you got a chance to be Anthony Joshua's mandatory by going to beat up Kubert Pulev, you don't, and you decide to fight somebody else, okay, albeit Joseph Parker, which was a good fight. But that's not to get you in position. You can't fight who you want and then say, hey, he, hey, I'm supposed to be this. No, you're not. That's what mandatories are about. So those kind of situations in, in boxing happen. But a tournament like the WS tournament, where it's just eight guys going at it, the baddest one, the one who wins is the baddest. The one who comes in second also has mad respect. Mad respect. You don't have to win all those fights. The first and second guys, mad respect. And then that, therefore, then they could go fight for the undisputed. What you think about that? I think Alexander Ozik is on to something right here. Let's see who else does. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.